Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to do um, relations and functions from the Excellence in SAAT book. If you have the book, you can follow along. If not, I do have the PDF in the description. So let's just get right into it. So number one says in the opposite table, what is the relation between X and Y? So what we simply do is we have to follow the slope formula. Formula, which is simply y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And let us simply plug it in. So let's say um, 8 minus 5 over uh, 2 minus 1, which is simply 3, 3 over 1. So 3 is the m. So it's y equals mx plus b. And now we found the m. What we have to find now is the b. And how how do we find the b? We simply have to go back and look for the 0. Look for the 0. And we know that um, the series is that we're adding 3. Adding 3 each time. And the series here is we're adding 1. So what do we do? We simply have to minus 1, which is 0, and minus 3, which is 2. So our b is now 2 and our m is 3 so what do we have to do all we have to simply have to do is plug it in so our thing is going to be y equals 3x plus 2 which means our answer is d now let's move on to question number two question number two says find the value of the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 8 at x equals negative 1. So this is really, really, really simple. All you have to do is plug in the values. So it's simply going to be, let's change the color, 2, negative 1 squared minus 8, which is simply 2 minus 8, which is negative 6, which is A. Now let's move on to number 3. Number 3 it's telling you to find f of 3, and it's really simple. Let's look at uh, the, uh, the uh, piecewise function. It's saying that x is going to be less than or equal to 0 and less than 2. No, because 3 is greater than 2. It says the second one says x is equal to 2. No, because it's 3. It's greater than 2. And the last one says x is going to be greater than 2 uh, and less than or equal to 5. Yes, it, it follows the realm, meaning all we have to do is plug in um, x for, for the function, x for the equation. So it's simply going to be negative 2, 3 plus 1. What is negative 2 times 3? It is negative 6 plus 1 is simply negative 5. So our answer is C. Now let us move on to question number 4 and change the colors. So it says, if g of x equals x squared, then which of the following equals g of um, x plus one? So what, what do we have to do? Uh, first of all, since it said this, it means all we have to do here is square it, simply square it. And we know that when we're squaring, we do not simply distribute. So what is this going to equal? It's simply going to equal, we know that this is a rule, it's going to equal x squared plus 2x plus 1, which is c, which is c. So now let's move on to question number five. Which of the following is always true? So this is simply a rule that you should know is that each function represents a relation. Now let's move on to question number six. Question number six is really simple, really easy, uh, easy point. So it says, which of the following graphs represent a function that has three real zeros? Now let's take a look. A has one, two, three, four zeros, so it's not the answer, it has four zeros. B has one, two, three zeros, three zeros, so this is the answer. C has one, zero, so it's not the answer. And D has no zeros, so it's not the answer, meaning our answer is B. Now let's move on to question number seven. Question number seven says the curve of the function y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 intersects y-axis at 
y equals so this is really simple all we have to do is plug in zero for x and solve so it's going to be two zero squared minus five zero plus three so it's simply going to be three once you simplify it so our answer is a now let's move on to question number eight it says the function f of x equals one over x minus 3 plus 4 has a horizontal asymptote at. So for the horizontal asymptote, since the m and the n are the same, they're all just ones and ones, um, the, the exponent basically, all we have to do now is put it 1 over 1 and then add 4. So it's simply going to be 4. So our horizontal asymptote is at y equals 4. Now let's move on to question number 9. If g of x equals x minus 4 and f of x equals x squared plus 1, then f of g of x is equal to... So all we simply have to do is plug in f of g of x. So how is that going to look like? It's going to be x minus 4 and then we square it and then we put the plus 1 and then we have to uh, just simply solve it so it's going to be x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus 1 which is simply x squared minus 8x plus 17 which is our answer now let's refer back to the choices and circle b now we are down to our final question so it says if g of 2 equals 5 and f of 3 equals 4 and f of 3 equals 2 and f of 2 equals 3, then find the value of f of g of 3. So this is actually really simple. All we have to do is plug in f of g of 3, which is simply f of 2. Which is simply f of 2, which equals 3. So our answer is b. I hope you guys learned something from this video and benefited. Please, please, please don't hesitate to email me whizworks, whizworks, yt at gmail.com. If you do have any questions or concerns, thank you so much for watching this video and see you guys next time.